Hey everybody, it's Tioq with Vagabond Culture. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for checking in. Before we get started, if you love my YouTube channel, you've subscribed to it, you enjoy it, go ahead and head over to my Instagram page at Vagabond Culture. I've been away from Instagram for a while, but now I'm posting every week. You'll love it. Go ahead and follow me. Thank you. Venice is a city in northeastern Italy and the capital of the Veneto region. It is situated on a group of 118 small islands that are separated by canals and linked by over 400 bridges. The islands are located in the shallow Venetian lagoon, an enclosed bay that lies between the mouths of the Po and Piave River. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Venice. The temperature is 82 degrees Fahrenheit. We have just landed at the Venice airport Marco Polo. We are currently waiting on our water taxi to take us back to the hotel. Transit from the airport to our hotel is roughly around 45 minutes for about $30 a person. So after being on the water for 45 minutes and arriving at our destination, we actually discovered we were on the wrong island. We had to purchase another ticket and take a water bus to the right island and hotel. This was so frustrating. I didn't have the best experience with locals upon my arrival. No one really wanted to assist us with purchasing tickets to get us to our appropriate destination. So after a day of frustration and pure unexpected adventure, we finally made it to our hotel, my sister and I. It's time to make moves and check out the city. See you there. One thing I must say is that Venice is one of the most extraordinary places I've ever visited in my life. And I'm sure you would agree with that from the pictures and videos that you're seeing. The place has so much character. I mean, every brick, every window, every door, just everything I mean it, it just has so much character I was really just in love with the architecture and the culture It's really an amazing place if you ever get the opportunity to make it to Italy go on the gondola ride it was way better than I expected and completely worth it if you choose to splurge on the gondola ride, don't take the first offer you get from the gondolier. Ask about the cost and be prepared to bargain. Plan to pay about 80 euros for 30 minutes and more at night. Your bargaining success will depend on the location, the time of day, and how busy they are, but it's definitely worth asking. Also, sharing your ride with another party, if you don't mind, if they don't mind, is another great way to save money as the charge is per ride and not per passenger best time to visit Venice is low season. Spring and summer are the seasons with more tourists, high temperatures, and lots of mosquitoes. Fall is a better time to visit Venice, although there's a risk of high water and flooding. No need to panic, just bring your rubber boots. Venice is a walking city, so be ready to walk the extra mile. One of the things everyone knows about Venice is that it has canals where other city has roads, and boats where other cities have cars. It's still one of those facts you can be aware of but not really understand how it impacts your experience until you're walking around the city undisturbed by the sound of tires on asphalt and unhindered by stoplights. You'll be walking for hours even if you don't want to because you'll get lost, guaranteed. Even if you get a map, you'll still get lost. Even if you use GPS, you'll still get lost. The narrow streets will lead you everywhere, mostly to places you didn't plan on going, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I love getting lost in Venice. It's the best way to discover the beauty of the city. A typical souvenir to bring home from your trip to Venice is a Venetian mask. There's no shortage of shops and vendors trying to convince you to buy one. Just make sure it's a genuine Venetian mask, not one that has the label made in China on it, even though those aren't too bad either. 
You know my sister and I had to get masks while we were there. So here are souvenirs from Italy. This is Amber's mask. As you can see, it's extra with all the feathers, but it is so cute. It's glistening. Her favorite color is blue, all types of blues. But you can see it is original, hand painted, made in Venice with the wax seal on it. And here's mine. Oh, it's beautiful. I fell in love with it the first time I saw it. All my favorite colors, sparkling and glistening the way it does. This is also a true Venetian mask with the wax seal. Original, hand painted, made in Italy, Venezia. Just a little tag on it, but if you go, definitely get a mask. Something really cool to take home. You never know, there may be a masquerade. You'll be able to wear these. Hello. Piano, piano. What? If you know me and you guys are going to get to know me just from being subscribed to my channel, you'll know that I love Salvador Dali. So when I saw those melting clocks, I was just in heaven. We are on our way to back to the hotel. It's ducked off right here. <laughs> in my three countries in nine days video, I received a lot of questions about the food. Venice is famous for its bad food, or its expensive food, or worse, its bad inexpensive food. And there's plenty of those to be found. It almost makes sense if you think about it. Venice knows you're still going to make a trip even if you hear the food sucks because there's no place like it on earth. Why pull out the good china if you're not really there for the food? But there is good food in Venice. But baby, this gelato, oh my goodness. Gelato was my best friend while I was there. I had to have that every day. <laughs> hey, leave a comment below letting me know which flavor of gelato you would like to try. Gararufa, or Dr. Fish, simply nibble away dead or dying skin, usually from the feet, and to encourage the growth of new and healthy skin. Kiss Fish was really a cool and interesting experience, to say the least. It, I guess, tickled more than anything, but our feet were definitely smooth afterwards. Here are a couple last minute tips. There are actually cars on Venice. If you're driving to Venice, you can park your car at the big car park and pay the fees while you visit. Also, I almost never drink soda, like it's a rarity, but when I'm on vacation, hey, anything goes. So I will tell you this, different cultures have different sugar levels and sugar level requirements. Some countries use sugar, some countries use corn syrup and other sweeteners. I'm not a big fan of sodas or soft drinks in other countries, but it did its job. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Please leave a comment below letting me know what your favorite part of this video was. And also tune in because in the coming days and weeks I will also be posting another video including my trip to London. It's definitely a treat to see. You'll love it. Hit the notification bell. That way you're notified immediately.